In this demo, I'll show you how to use Spy Studio to identify and fix an issue in Internet Explorer 9. Here, I'll run Internet Explorer 9, which has a display issue on this computer. I've marked the parts of the web page that are not displayed, such as the carousel controls buttons and the advertisement on the right. This is a screenshot of the Internet Explorer with a display issue. Notice that the marked objects are absent. Now I'll run the faulty Internet Explorer from Spy Studio to collect data and analyze what could be wrong with it. Spy Studio collects data in different groups, COM object and Windows creations, and registry and file system operations. It can also track exceptions and other operations. Now we'll compare two traces, one captured while running a functional Internet Explorer and another while running the faulty one. In the first tab, all COM object creations are displayed. The COM object highlighted in green, which is related to JavaScript, is created successfully in the functioning Internet Explorer. The same object, highlighted in blue, is showing an error for the faulty Internet Explorer. Next, I'll check the problematic class ID in the Registry tab. The registry tree shows that the functional Internet Explorer correctly retrieves the class ID marked in green, while the faulty one doesn't. To fix the issue, I'll load the working Internet Explorer's log to export the registry information about the JavaScript object. Using the export feature, I can get a .reg file. Now I'll open Windows Registry and import the generated .reg file. Internet Explorer will now run as expected. Thank you for watching this Spy Studio tutorial.